So, first of all, why do we need to create this kind of global and close ready? So one example that would be useful that I want to show you is I want to display my fabric. For example, I want to sell my fabric and instead of how the fabric lay flat, it is boring. If I place them on this go ball, make the fabric look more flavorful. So first I'm going to show you how to do that. I will use this ellipse tool, click on it to select, then click one on the page and I'm going to type in 250 by 250 centimeter and I'm going to click on OK. Next, rotate this fabric a little. And I'm going to strengthen the fabric first before I simulate, OK? Next, I'm going to simulate the fabric. And there it is. So next, I'm going to unstrengthen and then see how the fabric lay. So as you can see right here, now the fabric looks much better compared to the fabric over here in this 2D toolbar. So there is one reason to create this gold ball so you can display your fabric. And by the way guys, this fabric will be available ready for sale very soon. Okay, there you go guys. To create this gold ball in Close 3D, I will use this ellipse tool. Simply go to the polygon tool and then select ellipse tool. After that, I will click one on the page then by default, diameter is 2 by 2 centimeter. That is perfect. Next, I'm going to click on OK. Next, I'm going to zoom in a little. Then I will come over here to the property editor and I want to change the particle distance to 1. Then press return into on the keyboard. Then click on yes. After that, I will change this F thickness rendering to 900. Then after that, I'm going to come over here and then change the fabric to thickness. And there it is. This is the ball. I'm going to click and drag it down here. After that, we want to save this file first before we're going to export it as an OBJ file. At this point, do not simulate the ball. If you simulate the ball, the ball will fall down and it doesn't look that good. I'm going to command or control Z to not simulate. Then I'm going to come over here to file and then click on save as and then save as project. I'm going to name that gold ball and then I'm going to navigate to my desktop and then click on save. Next, I'm going to export as obj file. Simply go to file and then export and then select obj. After that, I will once again name it go ball and then navigate to desktop and then click on save. And by default, I have selects all pattern, multiple objects, thick, that's what we want. Then come down here, be sure this save with absolute texture image file pass checks box is checked. Now I'm going to click on OK. So after that, I'm going to close this file because we want to bring back the OBJ file, okay? So simply go to File, then go to New to close this file. We don't need it anymore. Then go to Files again and then select Import and select OBJ. Then navigate to my desktop and here it is, Go Ball OBJ and I'm going to click on Open. Then by default, leave everything as is and then click on OK. And there it is. There we need to do a few things. You can change the color to anything you want. At this point though, you can hit the simulation icon and the ball doesn't move because it is in an OBJ format, okay? Next, I'm going to click on that ball there and then change the material to metal, render only. And I'm going to change the color to somewhat gold color because that's what we intend to do. Then I'm going to click on apply and close. And one more last thing. We have to click on this high quality render here to turn this ball into a gold ball. There you go, guys. How fun. I want to thank you for the requesting for this video. And if you found this video helpful, remember to follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome tips like this. Thanks for watching, guys.